Alright, hello guys and welcome back to my channel and we are playing another Lion's Den League. This is a new video, another four seats that, um, full disclosure, I'm playing this at 1am. I just finished playing the two moving seats and, um, yeah, I should wake up in five hours, so, uh, wish me luck with that one. Um, yeah, so I start with no move, uh, with both no move seats, and then I'll uh, show you the moving footage and how it went. So let's uh, just get started uh, with our no moving world map. Uh, California North Five Interstate. Loading already is not the best. Um, just. Uh, uh, next three exit. Okay, let's see if my map will load the five. Um, um, so I guess we just search. I can't read what it says. Castalk. I guess I just search for Castalk, like that's. What else do you do? Um, realistically, probably should line up so it's a bit easier. I don't really see it, and the problem is. That angle on the 5 is very common. How... Hmm, probably should scan there too. Oh god damn it. I don't... Um, like it turns. Hello, can I click? Oh my god, that's uh, that scared me so much. West side highway. Um, oh, we were downtown LA. Castaic was findable, very findable. Um, yeah, I guess I should have scanned properly and not tried to reach and guess the five. Uh, what do we have here? Um, hello, can I please read the sign? Bengak Amon Bandak. Uh, honestly. Not a clue what that means, besides the fact that it's Malaysia. Uh, I know what word to scan for. <laughs> to be like completely honest, okay, Perak is the state. Um, so, is Garrick the place name? Um, okay, what is my angle? Okay, North Bridge. Okay, North West. Um, got, um, that's not what it says, but... Eric, okay. Um, uh, what? Confusion? Where's that? That? No, that's a running a lot. Um, am I Stupid. Like it, it looks like a big river, so 
Oh, yeah. I just blinked. Yep, that makes sense. I didn't... I looked too closer to Garrick, I guess. I uh, should have paid scan wider. Um, and three to Durban and Johannesburg. Wait, what? And three. Oh, okay, to the south. Uh, shoot. Blue. Is there anything else, or is that supposed to get this done? Um, um Galveston, let's try that. That's a really weird wait. But it's M1. Uh, and then three, so we have to be in Pretoria, right? I know what the hell Germiston is. Okay, that wasn't necessarily allowed, but um. Western bypass. Like there are no other road names. Do I scan for like Oracle PY or I assume we have to be in maybe closer to no because the third is not there. Oh Okay. Oracle, yeah, that makes sense. God, that's gonna be so annoying with round round scoring. Okay. Never mind me complaining. Um Call it the Basquero. Okay, what? Win Peru. Uh, besides that, I am not sure. We have Tuk Tuk, so we're probably more Norse. I can't. For, I don't. It says regional, but I am regional port. Publica Municipalidad Provincion de Paita. Paita. Okay, it says Paita. I am um, gonna be honest, I don't think I know what that is, so you have to bear with me as I try to find out. Um, I mean, it, it looks reasonably big around. Uh, probably like not that nice. Also, tuk tuks can be probably everywhere. So maybe I should zoom out a bit. Okay, this is such a skill issue. Um. Damn. I will click in the flat part. I, I, oh. Why, why, why did I not trust my region guess for that? Okay, you know, like, the skill issue of assuming you so bad that your region guess is incorrect. This is all on, uh, well, actually, maybe not. 
What is that? Skolan. Uh, come on. Is Skolan? Well, mean just Skola because that is bibliotheque and I'm pretty sure that is library. Crown count. Honestly, this is, the road lines are Swedish, so I shouldn't assume, and the bullets are also Swedish, so maybe it's Gothland? I don't know if that makes sense. Um... Yeah, what am I supposed to scan for? Girl count? I... Am I supposed to know what those are? Uh... Girl count... Well, this is tough. Yeah, I don't know. If I guess lit myself of, out of the idea of going Holland, this is gonna be really unfortunate. Let's see. Well, I don't know what I was supposed to be looking for. Like. This is the map that supposedly has info. Maybe I have to like look for this road. Um, like if I know it's Alland, like probably I should have just zoomed in the scan for the road. Uh, otherwise, it's um, it's a skill issue. Uh, kind of tough, I must say. Like this is the type of map where you get 23k and you're like the last person on the seed and also round per round will just kill me because like 4997 is not good enough like you have to get 5k but yeah um and i can't even blame it on a loading <laughs> not loading because it actually was loading uh quite well so yeah, um, did okay, but could have done better if, okay, an increasingly urban world, one minute, so this I think is not necessarily has info, that does not look like urban to me, uh, and I also don't know what that is. Um, Jesus, is it like color tracker or like some sort of island tracker? Like, um, like what? Like, what was I thinking? Not like Vanuatu, but maybe something in the Pacific. I don't know. I'm mostly between like Colo Mexico and like some random island. A sort of reunion, but like surely it's not. Um, okay, that's Brazil. That's not the worst guess. I guess I should have gone more into like the middle of color if I thought that was color that would be a little bit better by round per round but uh yeah I don't know that doesn't seem that gettable to me uh okay that will be really tough is that just New Zealand or am I insane um
Hmm. I think it is just New Zealand. I'm not sure where. Where's the lake? West. This is a PP I guess, I feel like, but uh, I don't know where else to go. Oh, in this is Colombia. This is Colombia? What? I mean, I guess the car was white. I was considering, well, I wasn't. I was considering this weird for New Zealand to have this because I don't think I've ever seen this. Uh, white car front blower, but maybe with the car and copyright it makes sense. Uh, but I don't think I ever go Colombia on that lot. <laughs> um, yeah. Besides the car, nothing says about this round Colombia to me. Philippines or what are you? Um, surely this is not. I can't see. Well, that poll looks like Indonesian, so yeah, maybe. That's weird, isn't it? Okay, if that's Indonesia, where would I guess? Like Sulawesi or <laughs> Yep, that happened. Not sure what server that sent Sulawesi. Okay, that was a good guess, finally. Um is it just the UK? I mean, they promised it will be increasingly more urban, so... <laughs> we have buildings now, yoohoo! Um, 22 doesn't tell me much... Don't have a single license plate, but like the houses look very much like UK. The other options, of course, are Belgium and... Netherlands? I mean, that would be the highest mountain in the Netherlands, so probably not there. Um, yeah. Okay. Yep. And even more urban Japan. I uh, have mountains. Do we really not have a single um, useful poll? Really? Is that Mount Fuji? Or am I making stuff up? But it's like directly north. Where would it put us in Fuji? Uh, does the uh, does the bridge turn? I can't tell. Um, yeah, I don't know. Nope, that's not much Mount Fuji. I cannot tell mountains about. That's just some random mountain. It's not even. Is that Mount. Oh, it's Mount Ivata, I guess. Yeah. I guess if you know, you know, but. Probably should have just clicked Tokyo and get more points. Um, at least a little bit more points. But yeah, not. Oh, actually, I'm like 23rd on the map somehow. 
Well, it won't help me in round-to-round -round scoring, but uh, that's nice. Okay, so now uh, to the... What was I gonna say? Um, to the moving seats, which I've already played. And I'm now gonna show, uh, not in OBS, what am I talking about? So the first map was the street art world. Um, let's go. Which is like sometimes uh, the map like theme is helpful when you play. You know, like you have to keep it in mind. Like street art is not really that helpful because. Like, yeah, you spawn at street art, it's usually not even a PUI, like something else is a PUI where you spawn, so um, it basically is just a world map, which is, doesn't even help. So, first we had Grot, um, pretty standard. Um, we had this huge volcano and a lake, which I noticed after I moved uh, for quite uh, for a few frames. Uh, so yeah, I assumed we were gonna be like on the lake in western Guatemala. At those point to San Marcos and San Pedro, but I, I first thought those would be street signs, and uh, then I realized San Marcos is a place. So I was kind of hoping to find a city name for. Like where I am at, because I kinda need it. Um, yeah. I think I eventually do find a place name. Um, I, you, it looked kinda hopeless. Yeah, like here it says in at the bottom that this is San Pablo Laguna, and I couldn't find it, I was like, this is San Pedro, this is San Marcos, which was on the sign, and I do not see San Pablo, like, anywhere, I was like, maybe I'm misjudging the distance, maybe the lake is further away, I was like, maybe it's completely wrong lake for a second, of course, doubting where I am, even though I have the place names, I was like, maybe there, there is another San Marcos, and something, um, yeah, but it was just very, very small, so I did found it, and uh, I was like, oh, the pinpoint is not going to be pretty easy, because it's a grid, and uh, so I was trying to understand like, if there was going to be PUI for this street art, and I didn't think it would be the PUI, um, so... Yeah, it was just like, let's line up random, random stuff. Uh, I didn't think it would be northern part because I was like, I moved for a while. I think I would found at least one of the churches that was mapped. I remember that there was like an end intersection and I was like, maybe that's where we're at. And I'm like, oh no, no, like where I'm at, at there, is, like, there is more than one block. There is a lot of coping in this round, so like when I moved west, I realized it's it doesn't end. It like there is an intersection, and where I clicked, there wasn't like it's just an end of the road. And I tried last minute clicking on the five k, and I ran out of time, which is uh, really tough. But what can you do? Uh, this one was uh, Urban Argentina, and I immediately gave up, like, <laughs> when I saw this round, I'm like, yeah, this is not happening. This is interesting, because I just realized, like, they had, like, all the street art map is pretty much an urban map, because street art are usually in urban areas, and they had, like, pretty rural map in, as map 4, so that's kind of interesting. But yeah, um, I was like, I need to find a city name to like even attempt to begin to do anything useful, and there was nothing like something, I think. Yeah, like this said C A B A, 
And I was like, okay, BA can be Buenos Aires. I don't know what CA would be in this scenario. I think something, yeah, like that on the sign says GCBA, which I tried to read, like maybe there is something else useful, but I couldn't tell. So I was like, maybe there's abbreviation for like a town or like a suburb within the Buenos Aires itself. And like this is where I began to move. I was like, oh, it's probably just Buenos Aires. It's so big. It's kind of unreasonable <laughs> to try and find stuff. Um, I like found that. I was like, oh, I don't know what that means. To be completely honest with you. Um, yeah, probably in hindsight, I would should have probably stopped at that sign that I just found and assumed that BA like I wasn't even sure like hundred percent sure it was BA to be scanning for streets but I probably should have just assumed that and uh, yeah like now I assume that that's BA and I begin scanning for streets. I did took like a quick look and like what the GC and CA could mean um but like even now, I don't see anything that would fit those initials as like I probably could be like Mosul Dean. I don't know. I haven't checked the results for the round. Um. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this set Avenue Balbin, which already was on the sign, which I kind of skipped. Uh, so I, I am trying to look for that because it looks like a kind of bigger road. I was like, maybe I can at least like, click um, the bigger road. Uh, yeah, I just kind of let it time out. Um, this road was much smaller than I imagined it would be, but not much smaller, but smaller than I imagined it would be, but I don't know, not that findable. This was Israel, and like, again, I struggled to find a concrete proof of where I am. Because I moved, I moved to here, like, that looks like a big building that can be a big PI, like, I don't know, that can be like a university or something, or like a business center that can be findable. But nothing was in English, like, everything was in Hebrew. And, um, I, as long, like, the more I moved, the more I assumed that this is gonna be Tel Aviv. But I can't, you know, like, I would want... A concrete confirmation of that because this is urban and I'm not that confident of my region guess because okay, I thought this is gonna be Tel Aviv in the like like in the first like ten seconds of the round and I pretty much never changed my mind about it <laughs> so like I guess if I could have the first street sign I saw if I stopped and began scanning for that. Maybe I would find, but um, since I kept moving and like trying to confirm where I am in the country, it kind of it's kind of like pointless moving. <laughs> like I'm moving, like I'm I'm hoping to find information, but nothing really happening. So I I did line up and decided to like at least look at Tel Aviv and surroundings and uh, yeah, like every road is that direction there is a lot of big roads I can't really tell how centralish I am also like uh, the big road is much harder to read than the small road so that took me some time um, but yeah, I was like, let's click some random part of some Tel Aviv suburb that's not really downtown. Yeah.
don't know, I desperately tried to read like that street name. Not that street name, but like the other one. Um I need to like turn off my webcam for a second. If we, uh or actually like maybe pause the video. Okay, so um this was yeah, kind of round three. Um not much to say. Just like urban pinpoint in three minutes is uh still impossible for me. Like I can kinda do the more rural stuff when it's less like angles um and like lining up streets, but uh urban is uh tough. Yeah, that was Bulgaria, uh like pretty straightforward, a lot of Cyrillics, John Fall. Again, that's urban, so tough. Um that was very useful, like this is like the most useful sign you can find. Uh so we had uh E80, which is the road that goes into Serbia. A big highway, it it says also Belgrade, and we had 16 and 18, which are also the roads that are in Sofia, so we were kinda south of them. Um well like it says that all of those are north, so um yeah, I did have a street name which I didn't notice right now, but I will notice later. Like I think the western part of the grid line did up better, so I was like I'm just gonna scan for Billa and the gas station and the Billa in the western part of Sofia. I now I notice that the street name is Popilchenska, I think it's how you read that. Uh, my Bulgarian is not that great or well, existent, <laughs> uh, but I think it's Opelchenska. Um, yeah, and it looked kind of big, divided road, so I was like, surely this is findable. Um, but like when it wasn't the roads that I thought it would be, I was like, uh, okay, maybe let's move. Um, another street name, Slivnica. Boulevard. Also, oh, I maybe should have read the municipality uh, thing, but yeah. I was just returned to start. I was like, Le I need to like, scan for, for gas station and villa. <laughs> uh, yeah, the thing is, is like 18 is west and south of the city. So I kind of assumed that we're gonna like if we are south of it, we're gonna be closer to to eighteen, I guess. But like those signs are weird always, so and this is probably not correct assumption. Yeah, like that wasn't the street, uh, but it had gas stations and it had well, it didn't have a villa, but uh, yeah. I switched around at the last second because uh, it made more sense to be close to 18. That was findable, I think, in the end. I don't know. I, I, I kind of assumed it won't be. Australia, I got scared. I was like, I'm doing like pretty okay. Like, I'm failing all the pinpoints, obviously. <laughs> But at least for my standards for moving, I'm at least getting the city. And I got to rural Australia, it kind of looked uh, desperate, <laughs> like there will be no info. But thankfully, I moved to the right direction for like the first time in history. And there was info, and um, I it took me a second to remember where Portland was in Victoria, because I was pretty sure it's in Victoria, but I was like, uh, where? But yeah, I finally do see it, and I uh, from there I I wanted to follow B two hundred, but it wasn't there, so I just kind of had to look for Horsham, which was a little bit more north, and uh, Varaknabil. Uh, Varaknabil was also uh, on the map, was visible, and. Um, 
yeah we had pain street so from there I just kind of line up uh, and assume how many 19 km how much is 19 km from uh, that city and I found it uh, which at least gives me one 5k I guess uh, the one the good city about thing about playing it at midnight is that I can still internet from the router and plug it in my laptop and I they don't have to struggle like that much with the loading but yeah that doesn't really compensate for the skill issue I guess uh, this was the South Island New Zealand map which um, I was gonna practice and <laughs> then I just didn't have time uh, yeah and so I was like yeah like I can vibe guess New Zealand Okay. Um so that's at Coronet Peak and to be honest from from the state of how it looked, um it didn't give me much hope <laughs> to find any more info than that. So I think the the move is to stop and like scan for Coronet Peak. Uh my region guess initially was like where I fell zoom in, like the south westish part of the island. I don't know. I did try moving because I was like, mm, like what if like I I will stop moving and there's a road number like at the highway sign just like a few clicks away, and like people who will move find it and will five k and I will not because I'm scanning for like a small town or like a mountain peak instead of the big highway sign. <laughs> uh but yeah, um looked kinda hopeless. I the one thing I really don't like about New Zealand, and I don't know if I said it before or not, but they the the signs they have, like the chevrons they have, the this grey sign they have are always give me so much hope when I see them. Like I will move and um I will see like oh like there's the back of a sign like finally information it's a chevron just like very long and it says like, how like the the kilometer stuff it's so annoying <laughs> can they not do that like can they have normal chevrons and more signs please uh, But yeah, so this is just I don't know why I'm scanning the next two rivers, even though we didn't have any. Don't ask me that, but uh, I was kind of just searching for the peak, um, like and that's the same sign, and I was like, yeah, like the north direction is gonna be absolutely the same as southern direction. Um, yeah, like this is I think the point where I realized that where I clicked there is a river and I don't have a river and um, I did think it's gonna be that region but yeah this is I don't know how I didn't find that and <laughs> so technically I was close <laughs> I'll take that but um, yeah I should have stopped and looked for that I guess can I not skip uh, my copy mm, copy room. Uh, that one was pretty straightforward because it started from dead end, so there was only one direction to go. We had Alexandra and Hayden Street, and Alexandra looked better, uh, bigger, not better, bigger than the one we came from because it's dead end. That one said Temuka Primary, and I assumed that Temuka is a place name. I've never heard of it. Or uh, um, thoughts uh, like knew where that would be, so I was like, okay, it might not be place name, it might be like the region within the city, or like just random name for the primary school. Like, it doesn't have to be place name, so in my opinion, it wasn't wise to stop and begin searching for Temuka, so I kind of just 
I was like, if I see another word, another sign that says Timuka, I will stop and search for that. But then I proceeded to move. I was like, okay, this looks like the road leaving the town. Uh, which would be pretty helpful. But um, if I had road n names, uh, road numbers uh, at the end, like after leaving the town, <clears throat> yeah, I searched for Timuka for a little bit, but like obviously it doesn't look like a big city, so it it's not findable on like a uh, far zoom level. Like you have to be zoomed in, and in order to be zoomed in, you need a region guess, which I didn't have. At the time, <clears throat> but I was like leaving the town, and there was nothing, <laughs> like literally nothing. Uh, so yeah, I was like, I'm not gonna have road numbers here. I probably should have read the bins. Like this is the one thing that I didn't do to confirm the place name. This is I don't know why I didn't do that. I just didn't think about that at the time. So yeah, like that looked uh, a lot like Christchurch area. I just I was like, like I'm gonna have a quick scan northwest to make sure I'm not trolling, and like, then I will scan around Christchurch like for real. Um, and I couldn't see anything. And I was like, okay, that's tough. Uh, and I panicked and began moving again. <laughs> I know, I probably should have just committed to, and like, and then the last, last second, I was like, oh, okay, that's Timuka, I was like, I had Alexandria and something, so I clicked on Alexandria, I didn't even notice that I clicked on the correct street, uh, yeah, I only saw Alexandria, so yeah, I got 493, which I'll take, because that is very lucky, <laughs> clicking on the, like, the correct street, and only missing, like, by seven points, but um, yeah, that one wasn't that straightforward. Like, obviously, we had two mountains, but I'm not a mountain person, as we established by the not knowing the Japan mountain, uh, and two mountains are everywhere at Christchurch. Those hedges are like. A little bit confused me because I thought it was like Western Christchurch for a second, but um, mm, like, well, I guess Western country where I should say like it's it's not called Christchurch, but yeah, uh, it looked so weird for for that region, so. I was just kept moving, and uh, there was like winery, and then another winery, and then another winery. I was like, this is not really that uh, like indi indicative of Canterbury, I guess. So that one said Vaihopai Valley Road, uh, Lazy Talk Vineyard. They have creative names, um, and that one also is a vineyard. This is uh, Jagsbury. I thought that, like, why Hopai might be findable. Um, yeah, like, I looked a little bit, uh, and Country Bear was like, nah, it should be like more north, uh, in like one of these valleys, and like, and this is like Valley Highway, and like, we had, uh, if I hope I Valley Road, I think. Um, yeah, so I'm just looking at a couple of those, um, thinking like where else can this be because of the mountains south. Um, I guess where I click mountains would be east, but. Yeah, I, again, I should have probably scanned where I thought it was for the road that I had in for the PIs, but I hoping I was hoping to have some more concrete information to scan for, and I uh, realized I skipped past <coughs> past the signs, so I like that. 
might be more scannable or at least it like it would add to um the stuff that I already had. Um yeah. I would love to think that if I had a minute more I would find it because I just zoomed in into the like, correct region. <laughs> and yeah, that was findable like and then th this round happened. I don't remember my street signs, I'm gonna be honest with you. But I began moving, like, that city. Uh, so we had a lake to the south, uh, like, east. Uh, well, not east-west. Uh, we had the lake and, the, and this hill to the south. And the longer I moved, like, I've seen this city, like, it's very inconvenient to move, it's very narrow streets, it's very, like, high and up and down, and, but it gave me, like, flashbacks, and I, like, even, I haven't checked, but I'm pretty sure it was one of the rounds from uh, my battle league where I had New Zealand um, against Hugo, I guess. And I was like, I, and I definitely remember this is like one of the rounds that went, didn't went that well for me. But I couldn't remember like which one. <laughs> um, yeah, I went, uh, I got to like the bigger road intersection, went one direction, there was like nothing. There's like town ended and nothing, no signs, not... I went to this direction, it wasn't much better, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, so this is the point where I'm thinking that like I've seen something very similar to this, and I just think I will not be able to remember. So I tried to get into the lake, so like maybe I can line up um, the coast, uh, like the coastal road with something and um, yeah Ryan Street again probably should loan the street signs I'm not sure how useful that would be again another useless sign thank you New Zealand um yeah like this this especially I was like I had this I don't think it was Gen 4 when I had this so I remember that I had Queenstown when uh when I did the uh, battle league. So it's just like maybe even if it's like not the exact same city, it would be like close enough. I'm just like hoping by remembering it wrong. So yeah, I was looking around like the that area. Um. Which in hindsight probably like the plants that we had, like the shrubs should have indicated more coastal, but yeah, um I don't know if that's the city that I had or if like did I have anything I uh like one of those, but it looked so similar. But maybe that's even the city that I had, so yeah. Um, kind of unfortunate. Should have known that. Should have known the street sign, realistically. But yeah, uh, that's so annoying. Like honestly, <laughs> um, yeah. This I already don't remember what that was, <laughs> and why I guessed and what happened. So. Did this round even have any info? I'm so lost. Uh, I believe this like, I don't know, like 50 minutes ago. <laughs> oh yeah, that's at Canterbury, I remember that. Uh, and then... 
that didn't have anything more useful on it, so I kept moving because Canterbury is a big place. Do I get any other information? Surely I do. Or they just... Oh, I remember what happened. Yeah, so um, this is the intersection. Uh, I don't remember... Some Road? I couldn't really... Yeah, I couldn't really read, read what road number it said. I was like, it looks like it might lead somewhere, so let's just uh, keep clicking. Like, surely there will be more information. And I think, yeah, at this intersection it says, um, um, Copper Beach. Uh, Copper Beach Estate, and I assumed Copper Beach will be a place, and I think something else at Copper Beach, like earlier in the in the round, maybe I don't know. So I assumed it's gonna be like a small like place on the coast. So I am looking for Copper Beach here, um, in Canterbury. Uh, but yeah. I know I just read the sign again to make sure I'm not missing anything and that's the place. But then I was like maybe it's a suburb and I zoomed in and then I saw like Waimari Beach and something else beach and I was like okay. Um let's click in Christchurch and keep looking. I don't know, I it didn't look like Christchurch to me. Like this is my, my thing that uh, it wasn't urban enough to be Christchurch, so I, I assume this is going to be just something like on the coast uh, by itself, not in the city. So it wasn't really Christchurch, but it's not a place name, so I don't know. I also thought that's the 5k, not uh, sorry. <laughs> I was so confused. But yeah, I don't know what... What, like maybe people got to the yellow road even like how how do you get to the rail to the yellow road I'm not sure but yeah um I don't think I played this this badly but um I definitely trolled uh, on the rounds where I could have find the city and uh yeah so we'll see how it's gonna go with the round per round scoring like overall, I think this was one of the better weeks, at least stuff worked and uh, loaded and I saw the map and I saw the locations, <laughs> unlike some of the weeks that we had. But yeah, I guess that's the pro of playing at midnight, like I have better internet, but lesser brain. Um. Well, since it's 2 a.m., I'm gonna go to sleep because tomorrow is gonna suck. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching, and I see you next week, and bye!